Oh, I think that's true. I think so too. Yeah. I saw it on like Snapchat once, I think. Let's do it. True. <laughs> Have we validated this with Shark Week? When did the pilgrims come? Yeah, let's go oh, true. Boy, I want to say true. Yeah. Know. Is that true? <laughs> okay, okay. Like, no way. That is a scary a lot laundry. Of I know it's really not as much as you think, think. it is. Well, true. Clearly, they don't have a heavy flow. False. I'm sure they think that. Lots of men would be dead <laughs> if that were the case. False. Please say it's false. Yeah. These are quite personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to thank you guys again for coming. This is so important and it's showing people that it's okay to talk about these subjects. But what is it that this day and age we're still believing, period? And it's... Well, one is because when things are passed down, Sometimes we don't question, see if it's a valid point. You're invalidating my pain and saying, you know, the moon's full, so it must be that. Obviously, every woman has a long journey of their menstrual cycle. You know, some it may be easier, for some it may be harder. Raise a hand, who has PCOS here? We do. Who has endometriosis? Wow. The majority of us, we all have our own issues. Have any of you ever missed school or work because of? They never really tied the dots that it was like happening once a month. I just like, I'm always sick. It's tough to be missing work and school and feeling like you're always left behind. Our gynecological things we have going on are also some of the biggest sources of stress. Pain. And pain and self-esteem issues. It's very hard being in your head when you have PCOS, when you have endometriosis, when you have any chronic healthcare condition. I think we also all invalidate ourselves. We're like, oh, well, you know, that's not a big deal. No, it is. We are not listened to. We are not heard. You have to advocate for yourself. I spent a good five years with people telling me it was in my head. When I finally found my diagnosis, it's just such a relief. Just because we've had one or 12 bad experiences with a doctor doesn't necessarily mean that they're all bad. We just have to find the right one. I wish I told myself that, you know, listen to your body. What is your body saying? Writing things down when they happen is probably the number one yes. easiest thing you could do to advocate for yourself in that doctor's office because of course you don't have pain that day. It never <laughs> happens the day you're there. I think the challenge with women's health that comes up is there's still a lack of research and there's a lack of conversation. And I feel like that's about to change.